Hello again, this is Maple Leaf Makers here with a fun video on how to build a not so mini stealth bird. Like almost every project, it starts with heat set inserts. Install the heat sets into the parts required per the V0.2 manual. After the heat sets, we put in the anti-squish M2 flathead. To build the guidler arm, remove this support and assemble the BMG assembly. Don't forget the lubricant. The instructions want us to put an extra self-tapper here for added support. Verify that the bearings fit on the BMG shaft, and then press the bearing and an M3 hex nut into the motor plate. Press the other bearing into the cowling, and then add the shuttle, guidler, and latch before capping off with a mid-body. Some M325s through the back and a couple of M310s through the bottom to hold it all in place. Attach the drive gear to the shaft with the teeth out. Make sure to lock tight that grub screw. Attach the back plate using two M36s and an M310. Almost done with the extruder, just fasten the thumb screw and we'll move on to the fan. Insert the left part cooling fan first, before the hot end fan, and then the right part cooling fan. You want to pay attention to this wire routing. With the fans installed, we can move on to mounting the pancake stepper. Screw the motor on and we're ready to build a hot end. We're using the Revo Voron, but there are lots of other options in the repository. Four M38s and a PTFE tube later, we're all set. There's a neat new tool in the V0.2 repo for getting the length of the tube exactly right. Mounting the tool cartridge is really easy. Just slide it in from the back here. and We'll use these M335s to hold it in position until it screws into our X carriage later. The mini stealth burner uses optional nozzle LEDs, so of course we're going to be installing those. The wiring is pretty straightforward, just insert the sides here and run the wires up behind. Time for some cable management. The mini stealth burner has a few spots ready for cable ties to hold everything together and keep it neat. With all that done, it can go on to the new X-Carriage. An M316 through the back hole holds this in position. The strain relief spacers go on and the strain relief fastens with two M36s through the top and two M38s on the bottom. Now we can finish our wire routing through the bottom and up, use a cable tie to the strain relief to hold those wires in position, and the last step is to tighten those M335s on the front to the X carriage. That's it, thanks for watching.